So you might think Taylor's was sleeping, but no, her brain is working right now, trying to figure out how are we going to dig a cat hole without screaming in horror? Do we just cut a hole in the bottom of the tent and then take turns running outside and like going around the corner so the other person can do their business? I, adult diapers? I mean, why, what are you supposed to do out here? I'd ask what do the Minnesotans do, but apparently they don't go out this time of year because they're like, have you seen the bugs? We were talking to Rick, he's like, yeah, we all wait till later. So yeah, it's, it's just the out-of-towners apparently. Morning here in Camp Massitators, and it appears that the great Canadian smoke cloud has caught up with us at last. We've actually been pretty lucky. I keep getting messages from friends saying, are you seeing any smoke there? And I've seen some horrific photos from New York, but we've had blue skies. Taters didn't seem quite as thrilled with this camp in the morning, but it made her really happy yesterday. Now you're trying to be more awake, I see. <laughs> you need to drink coffee like you do in town. It does actually seem like the mosquitoes are either a little better or else the permethrin's really holding them out. Well, so much for that. That was the second worst thing since Joe's. <laughs> Literally pulled the toilet paper away and it was stained red with blood from all the uh, mosquitoes. <laughs> Yay, Minnesota. On the plus side, this was the first night where we set up the tent and we didn't have ticks crawling on it. By the time we got in it, we didn't even uh, find any ticks on us last night. Doesn't mean we don't have ticks on us, just means we didn't find them. Despite the resupply, uh, which was more efficient than usual because Jen got a ride out and back to the store uh, from uh, Rick with the permethrin, our savior. Uh, it was a pretty good day. We ended up making 30.7 uh, miles yesterday. That's right what our goal is for dailies, which means if we did not have a couple of hours, we can probably uh, exceed that. That was with two portages also. Looking ahead, uh, it looks like there are no portages, no warnings, etc. cetera. Um, we're gonna have a couple of days just kind of scooting along. Though I was warned by a friend of mine, uh, Nanook, who did this a few years ago, he said, oh yeah, you're gonna get miles on that section, but uh, just be ready. Once you get down to the locks, those start being time sinks because you can uh, end up having to wait in line for other boats, et cetera, et cetera. Honestly with us, uh, if there is much of a wait, we will probably try and portage around. My understanding is you always have that option. We do wanna ride a couple of locks. We're looking forward to that, that looks fun. However, we're not much for sitting around in a damn boat for two hours, not doing anything. Unless I'm supposed to be doing something, then I will sit for hours. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll wake up in another uh, five hours or so. Words? No, no words. No, no words whatsoever. This is what we call the post Taters Tuesday hangover, where anytime the camera is out, she's just like, oh, I talked so much yesterday. We did go through this entire bottle with our uh, two sets of clothes plus the tent. Um, Jen says, I am not allowed to turn this into my new water bottle because I just, I love this so much. Friends, I know the world is a scary place right now. You watch the news and it's like, is World War III going to break out with Russia? Is American democracy going to crumble? I'm here to tell you it's okay. And you know why? Come to Minnesota, dig a cat hole. You will be fine with the world ending. So for the record, my scientific research did determine that the mosquitoes were worse once you got back into the brush. <laughs> so uh, I think sandbar camps are our, our, our new thing, Jen. I like sandbar camps. <laughs> yeah, except I hate packing away gear with wet sand, but it's it beats the alternative. We really aren't sure how much of this haze is clouds and how much is smoke. I am getting a uh, distinct whiff of smoke this morning. Also, when we had reception back there, I did get an air quality warning yesterday, which is the first we've seen. We've been getting uh, red flag warnings just due to the dry weather and the wind, but unfortunately, it looks like our reprieve from uh, the smoke cloud that's been enveloping so much of the country has ended for now. So that campsite, it was on the side of the river that has private property. Uh, our understanding from everything we have read and been told is camping on the river on sandbars like that is uh, legally defensible. Um, obviously, ah, we're not gonna go behind a bunch of no trespassing signs or uh, stake out in somebody's yard because um, nobody wants to wake up and see me in their backyard, trust me. Her maybe. <laughs> If we have to go, like, approach somebody on the river, you're the one who's going up. I, I, I still remember being in those tornado uh, warnings in uh, Florida, 
and thinking, okay, my only option other than this ditch is to jump over somebody's fence and then picture getting shot because I'm banging on their back window in the middle of the storm going, can I come in? Whoa, oh, Jen, mosquitoes. That one we like because it was relatively flat and it was up off of the water enough where we didn't have water seeping through. And even if that dam decided to uh, let a whole bunch of water out, it would have to raise a whole lot for us to uh, be at risk and have to pack up in the middle of the night. Because we haven't had to pack up and move camp since, uh, when were we out in uh, Black Canyon? November. November, yeah. Plus side, this, it is nice to get a break from the intense sun shining off the water. <laughs> you know, Jen, that is one brand new kitchen away from being listed on Airbnb as an investment property, though. Ooh, this is a new way of panning. I do nothing and Blondie does the work. Well, that explains the cacophony we were hearing when we came around the corner. A lot. But they're not cute anymore. You know, they're kind of like human babies when they get out of toddler phase. People don't love them anymore. And then they go to orphanages. <laughs> what? Maybe we watch different movies. Taters was all excited and then a baby popped up right in front of us because they hide underwater. <laughs> a very occupied uh, corner of the lake. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Why, hello. So this is the paddle camp we could have stayed at last night. You can see that little uh, canoe behind the tent icon. Neat little spots. Some of, most of them have had privies. We've only had one or two that did not, but they said the mosquitoes were just horrific. Uh, the Minnesota smoke lands. Had a bit of a midday stop at the local campground. They also had a spring well here, so we topped off all of our water and we're good for uh, at least till Aiken. 15 miles down, bit more sun out though. I'm a little worried that we're not going to be getting enough uh, off the solar panels. We have an, enough buffer to probably last about a week, but don't want to get too far behind. The smoke plume appears to have cleared. We got sucked into a conversation about Mass Effect and all of a sudden I looked up and noticed the sky was blue. Haven't seen that all day. And by Mass Effect, she means talking about how cute the baby Krogan was. Oh, the baby Krogan. <laughs> so for most of the afternoon, it's felt like the current isn't dragging us along quite as quickly, but we just hit a really, really nice stretch because that's how fast we're moving without having to do anything. A little samey. <laughs> the early part, at least, uh, it, it felt like they were distinct, you know, out in meadows. But it's been pretty the entire time. And we haven't almost died due to lightning in days, so. As long as turtles and muskrats and baby ducks keep jumping out, I'm okay <laughs> with it being samey. It's a little before 8 o'clock. We're both dragging a bit because we've done the better part of 40 miles here. It's been nice going, but that's still a, a lot of paddling. We are, uh, we went past the last paddle camp. It was a mosquito infested mess, uh, expecting to find another kind of a sandbar camp. It does look like those are, of course, um, once again, uh, less prevalent here. There's just more of this grass everywhere, but we still got another hour and a half at least. So we'll make something work. And we think we might have something. This is a promising looking sandbar. Jen's just making sure we're not in anybody's backyard. Okay, and we found something. It was a bit of a trick getting the boat up here because uh, the mud down by the river is pretty atrocious. You sink, you slide, and if there is no ledge, it is um, fun. Especially at the end of the day with a mere like 39 miles of paddling, whatever it is. Psh. We didn't see too many of these caterpillars on the river today, a couple floating around where we got to this beach and there's a ton, and then I walked over and saw this tree. So 
so cool. There are tons of little footprints all around this beach where we're camping, including bear footprints. So they are, there are bears out here. Yeah, we are working on getting the camp set up for the night. Unfortunately, the smoke plume is coming and going on the plus side. It hasn't been as bad as it was this morning. We're barely smelling smoke. Here we are at another perfect sandbar camp. After doing 39 miles of smooth, calm paddling filled with tons of animals. There's still tons of animals here. We got turtles jumping in and out of the water. And the sandbar camps plus the permethrin have really cut down on both the ticks and the mosquitoes. So it's a lot nicer just hanging out at camp. We're going to settle in, make some pasta, watch our TV show, call it a night. Home sweet home for the night. <laughs>